Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video Whereas today you can tell I'm not actually on my main account like I normally am Today I'm playing on an alt account and that is because I'm currently going to just buy all the game passes here You know and I thought I'd make a video on it and uh, you know just mention like are these game passes actually worth it? Do they really do much for you? Should you really spend at least like $25 to get all the game passes? So basically what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase all these real quick so this is the bear bee which is definitely definitely very useful actually so there we go there's the bear bee let's get the cub buddy oh this is actually kind of satisfying to be you know purchasing every single game pass in bee swarm simulator you know i remember when there was a two times ticket chance game pass i actually have that on my main account unfortunately i can't get that on this account though which kind of sucks but eh who cares all right so essentially what these game passes do i'll explain in just a second but uh here we go where is the there we go so this is the 2x bee pollen pass that means bees will collect twice as much pollen. So basically, if you go over here to the system page, you can actually check somewhere down here. Um, hmm, where is it? Uh, pollen from bees. There is one of those somewhere here. There we go. Pollen from bees. So normally my pollen from bees will be 120% without this two times bee pollen game pass. But with the game pass, it is 240%. So that means my bees will be collecting me 240% more pollen. Also, the 2x honey making speed will give you two times honey making speed at your hive. No where else really it's just at your hive so like if i'm at my hive and i'm converting it i want to convert quicker this pass will definitely come in handy so pretty much this two times honey making speed pass will give me just literally what it says two times honey making speed so i'll convert faster at the hive i'll convert two times faster actually which is actually very handy when you're in like mid game because for mid game you're going to be converting at your hive a lot and not really using many micro converters and your bag is going to fill up extraordinarily slowly but it's also going to empty extraordinarily slowly without this game pass so so those are the two game passes so far but i also bought this guy buddy or well i can i can name the cub buddy well let's 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 go with my my iconic cub buddy name here there we go much better so essentially what the cub buddy does is the cub buddy will run around and pick up your your tokens for you so that way you don't have to so like here we go there's my cub buddy and some tokens spawned and as you can see my cub buddy collected one of them so we just wait a few seconds and then there it goes and collected me an inspire token which is actually very handy so if you're gonna be like af kang the stump snail the cub buddy should come in handy so that way you can collect all of those like attack ability tokens without having to actually actively play so you can just sit there with an auto clicker going and uh just wait overnight and your cub buddy will pick up all of your battle tokens for you so that way af kang the stump snail overnight will be way quicker than it normally is or like not even overnight you could probably do it in like you could probably shave the time straight in half so yeah cub buddies are pretty helpful you can actually purchase the cub buddy for tickets it's 2,000 tickets in here but eh if you want to go for the 2,000 tickets, you can. I'm too lazy for that, so I just bought the game pass, so yeah. And so here we have it. We have the bear bee. Where is it? There we go. The bear bee egg. So where is the bear bee? Let's go through here. Here he is, the bear bee. So the bear bee's only, like, ability that they have is the bear morph. Transforms you into a random bear. Grants two times pollen and boosts to speed and jump power. If gifted, has a 20% chance to transform you into a rare bear morph that gives you special boosts. So if the bear bee is gifted, you have a chance of getting a mother bear morph, which instead of two times pollen, it gives you 2.5 times pollen. And also the other rare bear morph is, is actually the science bear morph. And once you get that token, the science bear morph token, it'll transform you into science bear. It will connect two extra, two extra conversion links. No, wait, no. Yeah, it's one conversion link. My bad. It's one conversion link. So basically what a conversion link is, if I come over here to my hives, let's wait for my bees to get here. So here I am at my hive. And when I convert with honey or sorry when i convert with pollen right like this see how there's like little links that go to my hive and then my honey gets converted so essentially what that is that's a conversion link and with the science bear morph active you'll have a conversion link constantly going you don't even need to be at your hive so the science bear morph is definitely like in some cases pretty handy especially for like newer players like if you're not the best at the game that can come in handy sometimes there is a vicious bee right here so pretty much what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna equip the bear bee right after I do a five minute test, right? After I do a five minute test to see how much honey I can make in five minutes in the dandelion field, because it's the closest to my hive. So that way I don't have to, you know, run over to my hive, convert my pollen and then run back. You know, like it will take less time. So that way I collect the most honey um, in five minutes. So that makes honey making a bit more efficient. This is actually the first time I've struggled with a level three vicious bee inside the clover field. Wow, this is sad. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly reset. I'm gonna actually double reset 
reset so that way my bees have the maximum energy oh wait do they already have the maximum energy i think they almost all do all right so i'm gonna wait till they all get to my hive then i'm gonna double reset real quick and then after double resetting i'm gonna go ahead and do that five minute test all right so now that all my bees are well rested and we all have the maximum energy possible here in my hive let's go ahead and start this five minute test so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna all right i'm gonna quickly wait and then i'm gonna get a um a timer going all righty in three two and a one All right, and now the test is done. All right, so without the bear bee we made, let's actually quickly convert this so that way it, you know, kind of makes more sense because we don't have much instant conversion anyway, so it makes more sense to convert our pollen. So I will have the amount of honey we earned without the bear bee on screen now. So if you can see that on the screen, it says the exact number we made. So uh, that way you guys know how much we make without the bear bee. And now let's go ahead and hatch ourselves a bear bee and see how much we make with the bear bee. All right, so which one of these bees do I remember? move actually that, that's a confusing thing i would think the honeybee because the honeybee doesn't really actually do much for me so sorry honeybee uh oh, actually let's look at my options to remove here uh yeah honeybee is just the most useless because it doesn't really drop anything useful other than like honey gift wait no 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 doesn't it give me like a honey mark thing wait a minute hold on yeah it does give me a honey mark all right i'll keep the honeybee you're lucky you smug honeybee faced well, honeybee. You know, I'll just get rid of a shocked bee, which eh, I'll get rid of a rascal bee for crying out loud. All right, fine. All right, there we go. We got rid of the rascal bee to get ourselves that fancy old bear bee. Bear bee has some actually pretty good stats. And then like just these bees. Yeah, it's actually way better. Wow. Wait. Yeah, wait. The, the conversion rate on this is actually better than my gifted rad bees conversion rate. And also it's just overall just better than every other bee in my hive. Wow. Wow, we that's actually really good. All right. The bear bee is definitely going to help us. All right, here we go. 10 minutes or no, sorry, five minutes. My bad five minutes again in three two and oh wait um let's double reset again so we got to make sure this is 100 fair so we got to do the exact same thing we did last time otherwise it's not really going to be that fair Alrighty, here we go all right five four three two and uh wait there's a windy bee cloud oh boy i'll just not walk under the cloud i'll avoid the cloud at all costs oh there's a bear morph here all right three two and a one go Alrighty, and that's time. Okay, so I'm gonna put the number, the exact number, the amount of honey. Oh, wait, forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot to convert my pollen. Wow, that was a close one. Alrighty, now I will put the exact number on screen right now. Oh, wow, we jumped so much higher with the bear morph, actually. I never noticed that before because I've always had it. Wow, that is actually a huge difference. Oh, my goodness. And we're way faster, which is very nice. There's a mondo chicken up there. I don't want to go after that. That's, that's definitely gonna kill me. Alright, but uh, yeah, so the bear bee is obviously going to make you more as i put on screen now you can see the number huge difference you know i also put the uh, the difference down there if you want to see that so definitely the game passes will affect your gameplay greatly because as you can see i'm just a little old noob so if you're really good at the game and you don't have the game passes yet when you do buy the game passes they are going to change the amount of honey you make drastically and you're going to make so much more so i highly suggest you go ahead and uh, purchase the game passes all because of that because well of course it's going to make you a load more i really like making these videos where it's like just me on my alt account should i make like a whole alt account series <gasps> oh there's a ticket up here in the mountaintop shop i forgot that was there actually all right let's go over here and get this mountaintop ticket let's go nice we can also get some glitter oh uh, it's right in front of the diamond mask all righty it is right here and get that boom all right glitter epic all right so that's about it for today's video guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i hope you all enjoyed this video hope this helps and i'll see you all in the next beast swarm simulator video or any other video that i publish good Bye!